there we go. Chris, uh, hi again. Yeah, as usual, I've got two questions. You might not have time for both of them, but I'll give you the choice. I mean, the, the first thing, did you buy into this idea of United being still very much the plucky underdogs this year, which seems to be a, an idea floating around? Um, and the other question I was going to ask, if you've got time, was Thiago might actually make his Anfield debut, which seems amazing, really. And and there's this kind of idea he's... I think you mentioned like a new signing in January not so long ago. Is that how we should see it and the impact he might have? I'm five and a half years, I think, around about in England. Not not, re- not really, no, five years and two, few months. So, um, And United was never an underdog. They cannot be. It's just, it's just like it is. Um, and so... In a mo, they had always good teams, always great players, really good coaches, managers, all that stuff was always there. And now they are top of the table, so that's how it is. So I don't know how then they cannot be, they cannot be underdogs. But we play at home, and we don't see ourselves as an outsider or whatever, just because they are now ahead of us. But it's an open game. It was always an open game. Um, very often when we played United, with different managers, so. Um, um, we, were, we had to be dominant in the games, especially because he was there. So, like, um, that's that's how it is. Now, with all that we will see exactly, um, usually they change system against us and played now, I think, 10 times um, or so uh, with four in the back against us, PSG, Leipzig, and so on. They, they, they still play with five in the back. Maybe they will change that. So, it's all the, all the things we have to think about, not who is the favorite and who is the outsider and who is the challenger and who is the, the top draw. It's just not important. It's United, it's Liverpool against United, and that itself is a massive game. Wherever I would be in the world, and there's a television, I would watch it. Definitely. This is the game. So, um, what was the second question? Uh, Thiago. Thiago oh. and Ampel Debbie, you signed it. Yeah, we will see. Yeah, we will see. So, it's now the most important thing is fit, train, bam, all good. And uh, uh, now, what was it? 90 and 45 minutes uh, in the last two games. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see um, if he can play, if he, which position he will play, because there are obviously um, different options and all that stuff. But it's really good to have him around now He's, uh, because he's a really good, really good guy and um, obviously an exceptional football player. So, yeah, it's it's like a new signing, obviously. I know it was a. It's, to just put the pressure a little bit of the situation when I said that we, we, we should sign the Argon in the water. <laughs> so, but we did now, and uh, now he's here, and let's hope that it will stay like this for a long, 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 long time. Okay, thanks, Chris. Paul, Joyce, and then Dave. Hello, Jürgen. I was, I was just wondering what sense you get off the players this week. Obviously, um, results haven't been what you've wanted for, for the past few games. So what what the the players give you around the training ground this week and in training? Very good. Impressed that we had. We lost against Southampton um, oh, a week or so ago, uh, which was absolutely um, not what we wanted. Um, but the next day we spoke, the next day we had a meeting, and the boys had... Um, uh, had their say as well, so all this kind of stuff. So we are in the place we want to be. We know what we what we have to do. We know what we what went wrong. We know what we want to change, and now we have to put it on the pitch. That's the that's the situation. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this game. To be honest, it's um, I know Oli said it's the best moment to play against Liverpool. Yeah, let's see. That's it. Thanks, Paul. Anything else we've got today to finish this section? I think Dave Maddock to uh, finish the uh, first breakout section before we go to the Sunday today. Hi, Jürgen. Um, you, you said last week actually that um, the clearly the defensive issues that you've you've suffered you know, for most of the season have impacted not just on the defence but throughout the team, and, and that has been reflected in the, the the results. You've actually won only five of the last twelve since sort of mid November. So it, it's kind of, it has been ongoing. And I just wonder, I mean, obviously you can't keep on with that level of results to be in the title race. So do you think that this game is almost, you know, the time for, because obviously 
you are a great side, a great team, because you've won so much recently. Is it time for them to actually show that, that you have to put what are obvious problems and excuses, you know, the real excuses behind you and show as a team that in this game, that this is where they have to now stand up and, and be the champions that they, they are? If it would be that easy, I just would say exactly what you said now, to come on, show now who you are, really. These boys didn't go for an excuse in one second since I'm here, but for one second. So that doesn't mean things cannot go wrong. Uh, that didn't go, obviously, um, outstandingly well in the, since mid-November, which is really, wow. Thank God I don't, when I say about the good things and I don't think in the past and I don't think too much about the bad things in the past as well, so who cares? Um, we have still 33 points or so or something like that. And yes, we are not exactly where we want to be. But we learned a lot in this season. We learned a lot. We were dealing with circumstances, dealing with situations and all these kind of things. And it was not one second because of the attitude of the boys that it didn't work out. So that's that's good. But of course, a problem as well because they always won. But it doesn't work out all the time. But we had to accept that after a lot, a long time, the things were just clicking um, in, 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 in specific games. Yeah, you have to do that. It, it didn't click for, for a few games. That's the truth. So in front of the goal, when we didn't score a lot of goals in the draws or whatever, the Southampton, the long period without scoring a lot of goals, and still we score the most goals in the league, which is absolutely crazy. So it's not that it's that it disappeared. It's that somewhere. It's just exactly how it should be in life as well. Why would should one team click all the time and the other team not? So um, that's exactly how it is. We you are just have to work on the basics. You have to, to step a little bit back, also step a little bit aside, get go back to the basics and get strong, as strong as you can be again. And that's what we that's what we did and that's what we do. And I think that can work. 